Drafting Improvements in ZW3D 2014 includes direct edit view, customized components section state, grid edit of dimension, auto centerline generation, new tolerance zone, and fit tolerance. Take an example. Create a 2D sheet. First, we have a standard view. Then, to create a section view, choose the center of the holes as the section points. Drag and drop the section line or base point and the section view will update in real time. Modification is easier than ever. If you want to add a new step point, just right click on the section line and insert the step point. Drag and drop it to change the position. Changing the section direction is also very convenient. Sub-objects of view can't be deleted or moved. You can blank it or assign it to another layer. By default, the section view can only be moved along the section direction. Uncheck the alignment option to move the section view to any position. Recheck the alignment option and it will be returned to its original position. Create a standard view again. The new feature, Rotate View, provides an in-place edit function specifically for base view. Let's see the second point. Customize component section state. This is a reducer assembly part. Create a 2D sheet. First, create a front view. Next, get a full section view. There is a new section option. You can set the section state for each component. This is the first method. Another method is to set them in Sheet Manager. Generally, a shaft part doesn't need a section in view. Try again, without including the bearing part. The view is updated quickly. 2D sheet edit is more efficient. Let's see some other improvements. When creating views, the center lines are automatically generated. Some dimension features are improved. Editing dimension attributes will result in new tolerance zones. The value can be entered manually or attained from a table. Add a fit tolerance for an assembly view. Firstly, create a diameter dimension. Edit the attribute and select the fit tolerance. You have shaft fit tolerance and hole fit tolerance. Select the one you require. The whole operation is very intuitive.
Lastly, let's see how to quickly redefine the dimension with the grid edit function. Firstly, create several dimensions as an example. Pick the dimension and some grip points are displayed. Drag and drop any one of them. You can modify it directly. The value is updated. Grip edit is a highly useful feature. Any modification of dimension elements becomes more efficient.